Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today knocks her away to Yeovil in the third round of the FA Trophy I think it is. We were originally scheduled to face Torquay today but Michael Doyle had other ideas. Yeah, I think it's a few games away from Wembley. The round of 16 stage today. And then the quarterfinals and then the semi-finals are played over two legs. So yeah, Knotts have never been to the new Wembley either, so it's a good chance to get there. The Ross Fitzsimmons transfer saga finally concluded this week. He was sent back on loan to the Spyrites after he saved a penalty against them just last Saturday. And we brought in Joe McDonnell on a free transfer from AFC Wimbledon because Sam Slocum is out injured for a while. It's his debut today, McDonnell, let's see how he does. Corn Knotts, Corn New Pies. Let's do this. We've, we've got quite a few injuries today. Ben Turner is out till April or something like that. Bakiogo and Slocum, I think, are out till mid March. Yeah, so we've got injuries. McCrory's just coming back. Doyle's still suspended. Roberts and Bird are cup tied for today's game. So, yeah, we may need a loan signing or two I'm not too sure but it would help us when we get to the running to have players available and yeah there was a rumour this week about us having a possible link with Sunderland with them sending some of their young players to us We were at the service station, we thought there was a subway there, but there wasn't, so we had a KFC. And yeah, now we've arrived at Hewish Park. <laughs> team news, changes made to the team. McCrory starts at left back, McDonnell is in goal for his debut as expected. Kelly Evans plays at right back. Owen Betts is on the bench as well because Pierce Bird, like I said earlier, is cup tied and Ben Turner is out injured. O'Brien and Crawford in centre mid, Thomas and Dennis up top, Osborne and Shields on the wings. I think it might have been Rawlinson who scored, it came off the ball. But yeah, we've pressed well. We've pressed well so far. Both teams are using the wings really well so far as well. You can tell, you can tell why both teams are near the top of the league. Osborne had a good chance as well to make it two, but it was well saved by their keeper. Come on, we've got Woking soon. Wes Thomas has been sent off, we're down to 10 men, yeah, was it a push, it might have been a push on Wilkinson off the ball, or an elbow, I'm not really too sure, but whatever it is, you may, whatever it is, you're giving the referee a decision to make there, and he's been sent off, the Oval have been the better team since we've scored, but, like, come on, not so just kind of sat back, 
Always our foul! Always our foul! What is he doing? What is he doing? G G G G G G He's giving him a yak! How has he been given a yellow for that? So Dennis, Dennis has just been yellow guarded. I don't know what for. Smith or Wilkinson went down so easily. Like Dennis, I don't even. Dennis didn't even touch him, and he went down, and Dennis has been bought. Like I just, I, I don't understand the referees at this level. Cole Dickinson was just standing there laughing. He knew it wasn't a yellow card. Even he knew. It's half time, it's 1-0 knots. I really don't know how it is still 1-0 knots to be honest. But yeah, the ref, th this game really has been all about the ref. And just the amount of tackles going in. Wes Thomas has been sent off. Cole Dickinson, if Wes Thomas has been sent off, Cole Dickinson has to as well. When did Knotts versus the Oval become Red Star versus Partizan? Honestly, it's been such a feisty first half. It's, it's not really been about free-flowing football. I've never seen a half of football like it. It's been astonishing. I don't know how we're going to survive this. It's just going to be a yeovil onslaught for the, throughout the second half. Boyne has come on for Shields and we've got live on the back. The, the, the scoring from here and Dicko celebrating. He's lost his flag! He's lost his flag! Yeah, not really much has happened this so The linesman has lost his flag. Because I think they've had two chances now. Where their player's been offside, but nothing really came of it. to be honest, a clear penalty not given when Crawford was taken down in the penalty area. Should have been a penalty, it wasn't, but anyways. If we win this, yeah, if we win this, it's incredible. We're down to nine men now, by the way, we're down to nine, but Corey is gone. He's gone off injured, I think he's got another injury. It may have been too soon for him to come back, but yeah, it's now... Knots are now down to nine men. And the wheelbarrow, the wheel fell off. I am the wheelbarrow, the wheel fell off. Down two. Oh, that's a way. Oh, that's a way. Oh, that's a way. Oh, that's a way. Six minutes of other time to get through. Nine men for, for a good 15 or so minutes or something. Come on. Literally, I don't, I don't even care if we hold it in the corner for six minutes.
excellent battling performance by Knotts, defending like warriors. The overall one, Knotts 2, how did we win that? Just how? An exceptional battling performance, we defended excellently, showing true resilience, especially late on when we went down to 9 men, having made all 3 of our subs already. Just heroic stuff by Knotts. The team today, especially in the second half, were fantastic. McDonnell on his debut made a, a couple of good saves, especially one late on where he stopped it from going to 2 all. He didn't really know much about it, but it was crucial. Kelly Evans, what a signing. Just brilliant signing. Constantly gets up, the, up and down the line, defends well, he's solid, he, he tackles well, he's just a really good player. Rawlinson and Lacey, them, them two... That centre-back pairing are just amazing. Like, since, since like, they started started as the centre-back pairing, we've, we've just been amazing. Really, really good in that department defensively. And Rawlinson, he's like Maldini today. Every time. Lacey as well. It was like having Beckenbauer and Maldini at centre-back. <laughs> just... Everything that came into the box, they got rid of. They cleared it, they headed it, kicked it, whatever. They got it out. We defended resolutely. McCrory did well. Sad to see him go off injured so soon after coming back from injury. I hope he recovers quickly. But yeah, he did well as well, especially slotting in as the third centre-back in the second half. Also, Tom Crawford. That guy ran his socks off. He was shattered by the end of the game. He closed the oval players down. He helped us start on the counter-attack. He linked up the play well, especially with Kyle Wotton. And he probably should have had a penalty in the second half. Talking of Wotton, he got his 15th goal in all competitions. What a signing he's turned out to be. And again, making his claim to be our player of the season. The passion, the belief, the desire... It was all there and it made for a truly epic away day. Warriors on the pitch, heroes off it. What a performance, what a win, what a day. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're subscribed, subscribe if you're new. Send in your questions as well for the next vlog. Be safe, big champions and as always, Toulouse.